On a quest to help others, a local woman wound up needing the help herself. You'll meet her in tonight's Someone You Should Know. For as long as Caitlin Midyet can remember, she has loved horses. She even started her own business as a horse trainer. And she has been so good through all of this. Recently, she was in the process of starting up another business, using horses for therapy for first responders and veterans struggling with PTSD. Hopefully, um, if we can build the training business up enough, be able to just give the therapy away for completely free. About nine months ago, that was all put on hold. <laughs> Caitlin and her four-year-old son, Nate, were hit head-on by another driver. The Highway Patrol report says the driver that hit them was texting and driving. The dog she found on the side of the road. We even told you back in January about Camo, Caitlin's dog that was in the car when they crashed. He had run off, but a stranger found him, and now he's back at home without even a scratch on him. The same can't be said for Caitlin and Nate. Caitlin lost her foot and had multiple broken bones. Nate suffered a skull fracture, but now he has a scar on his head he's proud of. He was pretty excited when he first got to the hospital, and I had a scar like from here to here, and he had a similar forehead scar. And he's like, Mom, we match. <laughs> Caitlin's adjusting to her new normal, like how she gets around. She does have a prosthetic, but she's still getting used to it. What's helped her the most was quite literally getting back in the saddle. Yeah, babe. Using her own equine therapy business she was getting ready to open, wound up helping her get through those awful days where she felt depressed and useless. Now she plans on using what happened to her to market her business and to empower people on the biggest things she's learned from all of this. If things get rough, to push through, because um, it does and can get better, um, even when it doesn't seem like it, I think that would be the number one and two, don't text and drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big that would probably be, you know, the top two. <laughs> and, you know, one of the things I loved the most about Caitlin was how brutally honest she was. Well, he even, she was guilty of being a distracted driver at one point mm. before the crash. And she said, you know, it's something we all do. You know, we, we glance at the phone. We, even if, like she mentioned, you're giving her son something in the back of the seat. I mean, it just, it happens. But obviously, this serving as a big reminder for her and for all of us, you know, you've got to put it down. And it's tough to admit that, too, because I think we can all be guilty of it. It's especially, you know, for us, it's, on a high horse, sometimes you feel like you're, you, you can't admit that. But uh, yeah. two, I think getting back on the saddle of life, you know, and she talked about when things get rough, you push forward. And I think we can all learn a lot from her. Yeah, and how ironic that she started this equine therapy to help others, and now she's using it to help herself. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, now remember, if you have someone that you think we should know, use our report it feature at ksnt.com.